Hello everybody, this is Marwa. Welcome to another painting time lapse. I am going to paint a macro shot of a leaf. So let's get started. Starting the background, as my leaf will be covering more than half of the frame, that's why I will work only on the part of background that will actually be visible in the end. So using dark green on the top and getting lighter and lighter as I go down. I'm doing two to three layers just to get a perfect blend of colors. Now, starting to make bokeh using the same technique, that is, making lots and lots of circles using lots of different shades of color. Keep on making these circles until you are happy with the result. Now onto the leaf. First of all, just using parrot green color to cover the whites of the paper. After that, I started doing experiments using different shades of green to get a perfect color for my leaf. I made the shades of green using lemon green, yellow, some black, and thalo blue. Just changing the recipe to get lighter or darker shade. As I was trying to make a leaf that is backlit and the left part is getting more light than the right one, hence the left part is lighter in color whereas the right part is shadowed and darker in color. Now again layering and blending and experimenting to get the perfect look. This project was more based on trial and error basis and figuring out what looks the best. So keep experimenting until you get the perfect look. Getting on to the veins of leaf, I am making the shadows first using the green, dark green color by mixing yellow and black. As the light is striking the leaf directly, so it will give a glowing effect on veins and will also cause their shadows. So I am making those shadows first and then will make the brightly lit veins onto them. Also blending the edges of the shadows to give it a dispersed look. And as the right part of leaf is more shadowed part, that's why adding some of this blackish green color onto the right part of the painting also. Now adding highlights to the veins using really light yellowish green color by mixing yellow, light green and some white. I'll just simply go over the shadows of major veins that I made earlier and if you observe I'm not totally covering the shadows rather 
I'm drawing the vein above the shadow. As light is coming from top, causing the top part of the veins to glow while causing the shadows downward. Now making smaller veins of the leaf with the same light yellowish green color. You must be thinking why I didn't make the shadows of these veins. That's because my project was quite small and this extra detailing would have been almost invisible. Had I been working on a larger piece, then I must have made the shadows of these veins too. So now getting on to the most tedious part of the painting, that is microscopic veins. For drawing the pattern of these veins, I will recommend you to see any picture of a leaf very closely. Once you get the hang of it, you will not need any reference and will be able to make similar pattern on your own. Keep on making the pattern. Do small parts at a time. Don't rush to do all in one sitting. Only this detailing part took me almost three to four hours to complete with a whole lot of breaks. So be easy and take your time. So fast forward to the end, here is the final result. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you in the next video.